And this is how we work with um, animated objects in Camtasia. I have a video here that uh, is um, an email marketing video. It's a PLR video. I'm going to want to put a call to action on the end of it. At the end of this it actually goes to black. I don't want to do that so I've taken a screenshot by pressing Control F which saves this frame. Re-imported that frame right here and laid it on top of this and because this is on top of this one this is like uh, covers up anything that happens below it. It's just like a piece of b-roll so this is going to give me a nice static end to it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to call outs. I'm going to go down and I have to add a call out first. Come on. Uh, that's not what I want. Um, Dump, 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 dump. Text is what I want. And let's um, put some text in here. Let's make it. Uh, and we're going to put in some flying text. Okay. And come on over here. I'm sorry, I guess I need to make that the 36. Let's make it bigger. I guess this needs to go really big. Okay, so we've got some flying text. And, uh, oh shoot, let's make it, let's make it something that we can see move around. Impact. Unless I've got ethnocentric or Eurocentric on here. Or oh I know, I know. Let's go let's have some fun. If we're gonna do this, we could do that. But let's move down a little bit further and F G H come on, settle down where is let's go to impact. We can see that one. And let's make it red. Okay, now the thing that we're going to do with this, if we want this to be animated, I want it to wind up right here just like that. Okay? And um, actually I don't want it to wind up there. I want it to wind up somewhere in the middle of the time it shows. So I'm going to go over here and go to More, go to Visual Properties, and I'm going to add an animation. I'm going to click right there on the end point. I'm going to drag this little puppy all the way over to the beginning of this thing where I want it to start. I'm going to bring the cursor back over here. I'm going to reselect this animation. Oops, get over here. And I'm going to go in here. Come on. I have to add an animation. This is the starting point. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, skew it. You can see the thing moving. We're going to make it turn in that dimension to almost be in invisible. And we're going to make it swoop up and down. And that whole thing is going to. Whoops. Let's put that back. This whole thing is going to start over here somewhere off screen. Okay, so now when we, we've got a starting point, we've got an ending point. We've got some whoop de doo happening, and then it stays there. How we can help your business succeed. Oh, excuse me just one second that's uncalled for. But here's what we do. We're a week in how playing this. Can succeed. Got it? Yep. That's about it. The easiest thing to do is start in the end position where you want it to wind up and then do all the move it turn it around, turn it sideways, uh, those things there, I swept through different angles.
on, on the one that you saw that you were interested in. So okay. they they all moved in three dimensions and they moved up and down and left and right. The other thing that you can use this for, let me go through and erase this or delete this one. And when we go back and we play this thing, it's just the same old plain boring thing. We can also take um, this, move it off screen, probably just a little ways off screen. Go back here to visual properties, add a new animation. And now you've got a motion path. Kind of like the zoom and pan. So you added a, basically you added a second? Yeah, you got, you got your end position. Right, right here it's this thing. This is showing that it's going to sweep out this far and it's going to start at the next animation right there. That's your beginning position and there's halfway, three quarters, down to the end and then it stays there until the end of the frame and fades away. Oh. Huh. 